The next step with an RTD would be to check it in an ice bath. Now, this is a, probably the easiest um, kind of point to check. Very low uncertainty associated with it because you really don't have a lot of equipment involved. You've got um, you know insulated container, some ice, and the, typically a, uh, some kind of an ohmmeter to uh, measure the probe. Um, you can make this up using uh, crushed ice, purified water, uh, distilled water works well. And what you want to do is uh, pack that insulated container with the crushed ice and then just pour in enough water to fill up the little gaps in between the chunks of ice. If the ice starts to float, you've got too much water in there. And then you want to insert the probes into the ice and don't take the probe and try to beat a hole in the ice. Take another stick or a rod or an old probe or something that you don't care about. Poke the holes in the crushed ice that way then stick the, the probes in there and insert them far enough so that you have at least uh, three and a half or four inches of immersion for a quarter inch diameter sensor like we show here. Uh, you really you, you need to make sure that you uh, have that sufficient immersion just so that the ambient air conditions aren't affecting your measurement. And here, if we're going to verify that they meet either one of these RTD um, standards, you can, you can see here that the, if we look at the, the, the top of the screen here, the IEC and the ASTM, they, they don't quite agree in the tolerances at the upper temperatures at zero degrees C. Of course, they're all the same. They're 100 ohms. But as we go away from zero degrees C, the two standards uh, drift apart a little bit. But here, you put with the ice bath ch check, you do want to make sure that you know we, we meet that zero. And then if you're going to do an elevated point, uh, that it falls within either one of these standards. And so that's a good way just to verify that the RTD is still within the uh, manufacturing tolerances. There's some equations you can use here to calculate what the tolerance is at various temperatures. With, if we look at the, the, the first one, uh, it's a, a grade A tolerance band. So it would be 0.13 plus 0 0.0017 times the absolute value of the temperature in degree C. So if you're at 121 degrees C, we just 0017 times 121 plus 0.13. And that will give you your tolerance band at that temperature. 